Hey guys, Luke here from Cubes UK and today we're going to take a little look at the brand new Moyu Meilong Puppet 1 and the Moyu Meilong Puppet 2. Stay tuned! Okay, so these are the brand new Moyu Meilong Puppet series. We've got the Moyu Puppet 1 and the Puppet 2, and they can best be described as a 3x3 inside a 2x2. Uh, well, this one anyway, which is the Puppet 2. Uh, in regards to the Puppet 1, I'm not too sure how you'd describe it. Still a 3x3 inside a 2x2, but you can't really tell it's a 3x3. Whereas this one, you can actually move it as a 3x3. It's a little bit tricky just to align the layers, but you can tell it's a 3x3. Three three. And then if we do a little bit of a funny turn here, inside you can still see the rest of the layers. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the Puppet 2. And then the Puppet 1 is still, if we, if we turn it just right, there we go, in there you can still see three layers, or the 3x3 three three hiding inside. But there's a lot more bandaging going on with this one. You haven't actually got the 3x3 on uh, visible. You've got this kind of weird bandaged effect. And from this side, it obviously looks like a standard 2x2. Two two. Same with this one. It's not until you flip it over that you realise that one corner is actually a 3x3. Three three. Now, in regards to movement, out of the box they turn really nice. For a non-WCA puzzle that is kind of wacky like this, there's something you'd expect from Moyu. It's a good quality product. It's a frosted exterior and the colours do contrast quite nicely with each other. Although I can't say I've scrambled this one to, to really know. But when this one is scrambled, um, it does look it does look wicked and the colours do work well with, it, with one another. So, in regards to scrambling, we are going to scramble both of them. This isn't a solution video, not too sure how to solve it off the top of my head just yet, but I will give it a good go at some point. Now, you can see here, if we do just a standard R2, we get this kind of bandaged effect where we can't go anymore. So we can't then do a U or a D move. But we can do an R from this angle. We can't do, oh, we can't do an R, sorry, we do an R prime, and we can only do, well, actually, we can get there, and then we can't go any further, because again, we've got a band at the back. Oh. So, oh, and again, we get a bandage back here, if we try to do a U2. So, oh. Okay, so I'm not too sure if you're meant to be able to go around that corner or not. It seems to go around one way, but not the other way. So maybe that wasn't a bandage. Definitely going to take a little bit of getting used to and knowing what moves you can and can't do. But that one you definitely can't do. Oh, so that's fully bandaged like that. This is definitely going to make a very, very fun solve. And unlike this one, it doesn't look like you can turn that centre 3x3 three three layer kind of independently. Not like you can on this one. Unless it is internally bandaged somehow. Um, and you might be able to from some sort of orientation or scramble. Anyway, that's what this one looks like, a scrambled, which looks hideous, but I'm sure some of you will get a jump straight on that and solve it instantly. Don't know the best way, I'm guessing you solve the 2x2 two two section first, then move on to 3x3? Three three? I don't know. 
Wow, this is good. Anyway, okay, let's move on. So that is the Puppet 1. Puppet 2, like I said, is a 3x3, three three, well, same as that, 3x3 three three inside a 2x2. Two two. But the 3x3 three three layer moves independently. So let's do a little bit of a scramble. We'll start with a the checkerboard. There we go. Nice little checkerboard. Oh. And it does turn surprisingly well. You don't really get any lockups. The lockups you do get are just bandaged or bandages. Um, blimey. There we go. So it's scrambled and we can still twist that center layer just to add to the scramble, make it even worse. And there we have that one. So you can still see the kind of three by three shape to it. And I genuinely have no idea where I would even start to solve this. However, I do want to give it a go. I'm not very good with bandage cubes, but I wonder if there's an easy trick or knack to solving it. Anyway, these, got, uh, these puzzles, guys, are on our website. They are $5.99, I believe. I would highly recommend picking one up. Uh, they are a budget puzzle. And do you know what? They're so much fun. They really are so much fun. Yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest. Oh dear. Anyway, yeah. So, these are the Moyu Puppets. Um, currently the only store in the UK to stock these, so if you do want one before Christmas, jump on over to our website, cubes.co.uk. You can pick these up right now. We've got plenty in stock in time for Christmas. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you soon.